guys, uh, we are in this place in Pokhara and uh, we friends decided, this is our, our hiking team by the way to the ABC camp if you remember from the picture. So we decided to do some cooking for ourselves tonight and do a party tonight. So uh, I'll be cooking some of the stuff called dal khichdi in India because we were having a lot of Indian food while on the hike up there. Very tasty. Yeah, yeah. So we decided why don't we have some dal khichdi along with some mashed potato. Uh, so we got some ingredients from the market. Here we have the dal, 250 grams dal, some rice. Uh, some onion, potato and tomato and we have also got this very famous branded butter from India it's called Amul butter, well, utterly, well, well, utterly well. delicious and we also have some local spices here which we will be using for the khichdi uh, maybe you can see it oh a lot of spices mm -hmm. okay we will tell about them later but we, uh, we are not just cooking here, so we are also trying to learn how to cook. So this is the first time I'll, I'll, I'll be, you know, cooking and helping others to learn how to cook Indian food so that they can go back home and cook some dal khichdi for themselves. Because Especially me, because <laughs> I love Indian food. And uh, by the way, we really had some uh, delicious uh, muesli with yogurt and a lot of, lot of fruits which our friend Anya made for us today. Yeah, very tasty. It's, it's, it's really nice. So, it's so it, it, it is our starter. Yeah. Anya, thank you for wonderful, wonderful... Thank you very much, it was delicious. <laughs> our uh, first dish for today that's called dal kitchen in India. And uh, it's basically a mixture of dal and rice combined together and cooked in a uh, pot steamed together. So for that, uh, that obviously you need some dal and rice mixed together. Uh, generally we uh, do it in a 60-40 ratio. That means 60% uh, rice and 40% uh, dal. So I'll mix the dal and some rice together in this pot. Yeah. That will be, this much would be in a first two persons. But I can't say because it depends on how much hungry that person is. But oh, yeah. 100 person, this much is in a for two persons. So okay. Two such pots because we are four people. Okay, so this is portion for four yeah, people. This is good enough for four people. Quite enough. So we mix it and mix now it wash and it. And now wash it, yeah. Do you wash it one time or yeah one one rice and dal. Uh, now it's time to add a little bit of salt in it, and uh, salt is according to taste. So I'll be adding one tablespoon of salt, one and a half, and uh, I'll add some turmeric powder in it. Turmeric is basically yellow in color. Add some turmeric, this gives that yellow color to that. So one dish. spoon? Yeah, one spoon. And then it's time to add some water to boil the rice and uh, dal together. Oh, okay. How much quantity do you add is basically three times uh, the quantity of dal and rice together you have, you are cooking. So since we are cooking two cups of dal and rice together, we'll be adding two into three, six cups of water. Okay. We, we decided also to cook some mashed uh, potatoes so rather than uh, boiling it separately we would be efficiently use our cooking gas so decided to peel some potatoes in between and add it to the same cooker like the dal rice so it is Indian life hack it is Indian jugar jugar yeah jugar to cook, cook the dal rice and the aloo the potato together we are, you know, right now filling the potato and we'll put it in the same bowl. Okay. So, how much time does it take to uh, make it? To cook it, uh, we'll put it on a medium flame and uh, we'll wait for the whistle to come up twice. Okay. So two times the whistle comes up, then you switch it off and let it be. 
How much time do we need to wait? The entire time will be around 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes at max. And you mean cooking? Uh, yeah, the cooking, cooking this. And then time. waiting. Yeah, cooking, cooking and waiting will be around 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. Our uh, khichdi, we have boiled the rice, dal, and the potato together. It is done with two vessels now, so I have kept it aside. So you put <coughs> also potato. Yeah, we put potato to... How, how many pieces or uh, how much? We, we put around six small pieces of potato for four of us. And uh, what we are now going to do is we have lit up the stove again and we'll fry some onions mm -hmm. uh, in this uh, butter. Uh, fry some onions. Uh, these are like two medium-sized onions. Uh, mm -hmm. So half of it I'll be using for... Almost 70% I'll be using for the khichri. Mm -hmm. and some of that will be using for the mashed potato. Okay, and what else we have? A little uh, uh, finely chopped ginger and garlic and two split green chilies. So that we will use for the frying this thing. Just putting uh, two tablespoons of uh, butter in it. This is for the khichdi. Mm -hmm. First add some dry cumin seeds. These are also called jeera by the way in India. Mm -hmm. In English you call it cumin seeds. Oh, nice smell. We'll add some cumin seeds like one teaspoon and in some time you will see this crackle up. As you see there is a sound of popping is coming mm -hmm. out of that. So this cracking sound means this is you know getting ready. And then onion. And then onion, some ginger garlic and the chili. We'll add it together and fry it till it becomes a little golden in color. It has opened, the lid has opened. So the next thing I'm going to do is separate the potatoes from the rice and dal. As you can see, there uh, we had uh, put some potatoes earlier to cook them together. So we will separate the potato part so that we can make the mashed potato out of that. So main task is to find all potatoes. Yeah. This, so and this please is, this is really remember fun. how many you put into cooker yeah so we are able otherwise to... one of them can stay inside okay that's it uh, the fried onions are almost done and uh, the khichdi is also kind of done so we'll add it together and mix it all in this pan Mix it for a while and this will be done. Ready? As you can see, uh, the dal, rice, and all the spices and vegetables mixed together. Would you like to taste some? Yes, of course. Uh, just mind it, it's just cooked, so put a little hot. So. Okay. Mmm, nice. I like it. Thank you. And I think we are. Still it's a pity that we can just uh, give you a picture, not not taste. <laughs> uh, I think the next thing we are still left with is the mashed potato. Oh yeah. Actually, I'd like you to tell something about this mashed potato. Uh, in our east eastern states, uh, like West Bengal, Bihar, uh, in India. We also call this uh, dish as choka. Choka. Yeah, choka, and uh, not mashed potato. Mashed potato is like two English, two. English. Oh, okay. Yeah, two, two English. Products. So we will eat choka. Choka. This is called alu choka. Alu means potato, and choka means mashed. So what I'm doing is right now uh, adding some uh, chopped onions and uh, chopped uh, 
uh, green chilies in this. Uh, How many chilies? Uh, we have added just one chili. One chili. chili? Just one green chili. I don't want to make it really you know, spicy and hot. And uh, add half a uh, teaspoon of uh, this uh, salt uh, and uh, a little bit of butter. How much? One tablespoon type. Yeah. Okay. Butter. So it will give some, some what nice, flavor? Yeah, it will give you a nice buttery flavor and it will make it a little greasy. So let's mash it together and we are done. Okay. Mash and mix it together and you are done. Like this? So we decided to add some tomatoes for those who could feel it is too spicy. Ah, I want to eat it. Do it faster, please. We are done with mashing it fine and serve on the plate. So it's all mashed and mixed. Done with this potato and done with our kichri. All okay. The kichri and the mashed potato on the table. So how does it taste? Amazing. See? I will check faces now. Face control. Show me your emotions. Wow. Wow, thank you, thank you for that. Very nice. I love this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, finish. No, I don't know. Sorry. I lost sense of, uh, you know, and started to speak Russian. I don't know about these guys, they're finishing. I get additional portion because I like it so much and I will eat everything okay. because it is really really tasty and tomorrow I will try to be as much as similar to this and you guys will taste it and about me I feel so much like home uh, with this food and uh, with the people around I mean I don't feel I don't miss home with all these lovely people and the lovely food we have Всем приятного аппетита!